Well, it's a lot of pressure being last, I have to say. There's just some incredible, incredible presentations already. I'm learning so much. So uh, there's been a lot of already focus today on how important agriculture is to this, to this county, to this region. And that is one of the things I'll be talking about. Um, the focus that I want to speak to is on two major issues that we have, the national level, and just so happens also at the, at the local level. A lot of people have heard about the, the statistic about the aging of the farmer. This is a United States aging challenge. And especially here in Yolo County, where our number one industry is agriculture, how critical this is. But I actually think this statistic is actually more dramatic and more important to really understand the critical nature that we have, not just in the country, but here in, in, in Yolo County. For every farmer and rancher under the age of 25, there are five over the age of 75. Dwayne Chamberlain. Just kidding. <laughs> I just wanted to see if he was awake back there. Um, but this is the challenge that we have. This is the, the, uh, an incredible gap. And I think that our US Secretary of Agriculture, Tom Vilsack, says it very well when he says, we have an aging farming population. If left unchecked, this could threaten our ability to produce the food we need and also result in the loss of tens of thousands of acres of working lands that rely on, we rely on to clean our air and water. And of course, here in Yolo County, nothing is more critical and important to us than this. So the other side of our challenge that I want to speak to is that of hunger. Patty talked to it a, a bit earlier. So I'm sure most of you in this room are very familiar with the study that was done last year by Hunger in America, uh, for Hunger in America, and through the Yolo County Food Bank participating. Incredibly horrific numbers, in my opinion, for Yolo County, right? So almost 44, almost 45, 44,400 people in this county are food insecure, meaning that at some point in their day, they don't know where the next meal is coming from. And many of those food insecure and food deserts, which are those places where people don't have access to healthy food or have access to food in, at all within a 10 minute walk or 10 minute bike ride or public transportation are in West Sacramento. So how do we connect bright eyed folks like this? These are our current class of the California Farm Academy, 20 new beginning farmers from this region that all want to be a part of our of our incredible agricultural system here in Yolo County and beyond, how do we connect them to places that produce healthy food for our urban areas and our food deserts? Well, it turns out the answer, at least so far, is in West Sacramento. Right, Marty? So we, West Sacramento, as I spoke to, has this issue of, of, food, of uh, food access and, and food insecurity and food deserts. They also have a lot of vacant lots. The biggest challenge that new farmers face is access to land and access to capital. So land, number one, these kinds of vacant lots like we have, you have in West Sacramento and beyond all around the county in urban areas that many of our beginning farmers want to do urban agriculture are, are, are here, are here right in our own communities. In this case, the project that Center for Land-Based Learning embarked upon is one where we took the lead to lease these lands from both uh, city pr properties, public properties, as well as private properties. And then we sublease the land to beginning farmers so that they can get their own start. We also uh, raise public money, or private money, not public money, private money, in order to build the infrastructure at these sites so that these farmers can get their start. They don't have to buy things like the irrigation system. They don't have to buy the structure for storage. They don't have to build a shade structure. All of those things we do for them. So some of our outcomes in literally just one year, we launched this in March of 2014. We now have four farms. We're up to six acres of land that has been converted obviously from of, that were unused, some private, some public, and high productive urban farms within this first year. And the other part of this is economic development. We've started six new local businesses. All of these new farms have their own business licenses. They have their own insurance. They have their own farm names. They're going out and selling and, and you know, uh, obviously being an integral part of our community. 
And also very exciting, something that I'm going to leave you with today, is the excitement that we have over creation of a mobile farm stand. And this will be deployed not only in West Sacramento in food deserts, but also in such communities as Knight's Landing, which, by the way, is one of the other areas within the county that has a major problem from the standpoint of access to healthy food. So I don't know if this is necessarily innovation. I think of it as putting, putting our heads together and working with a whole lot of partners and great communities that can do real things on the ground. But I guess, after all, that is the YOLO way. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Mary.